Welcome back, Fat Basses. Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's another review. What we're reviewing today, we got a brand new combo that came out this year. The real, however, it's an Abu Garcia Black Max. This has been out for about three to five years, I want to say. I'm not 200% sure. The rod, however, is a brand new rod from Ugly Stick this year, and this is the Ugly Stick Carbon Rod. Now, it's a 6.6 medium action rod. I have it rigged up with 50 pound braid. In the video, I see I'm using 40 pound. I was wrong, it's 50 pound. And I also have probably about a good, ooh, say seven to 10 foot uh, fluorocarbon leader. That was a good 12 pound leader. But anyways, it's a five, the reel is a five one to one gear ratio reel. I love the reel, smooth casting, smooth reeling, but the video is more so focused on the rod. So like I said, 6.6 medium action rod, brand new stick from Mowgli Stick this year. In the video that you guys are about to see, you'll notice that I don't catch anything that's literally too big. I catch nothing that's probably no more than half a pound. But so I get nothing that's actually of any significant weight to really test the strength of this rod. But based off of what I did catch, I can tell this rod's gonna handle really well with all sides of fish. I'm actually gonna be using this rod in a tournament this weekend. I'm fishing the, the uh, Detroit River this, this weekend coming up, so. This rod's gonna come in a lot of handy. I just have this rigged up right now with a little finesse jig, a little green pumpkin. It's got a little bit of peanut butter and jelly in there as well, and some white and orange. And then the trailer, just a Guggen Bates Bandito Bug and the Watermelon Red Flake. But in the video, I was using a Lunker Hunt um, worm, blue speckle worm, I don't know what the color is, with a yellow Gamakatsu drop shot hook, and I actually wacky rigged the worm on a drop shot hook. I didn't even fish it like an actual drop shot. And just because I know that the action that they get off the drop shop hook in that particular pond, the fish love it. So if you guys are wondering about price, $99. I actually picked it up for a snag at Meyer, believe it or not. I was there buying some groceries and I happened to say, well, let me just go over to the fishing aisle and see what they got. And when I got there, I was like, oh snap. And I just hit on the ceiling. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron. So yeah, I uh, decided to pick it up. So a hundred bucks, I went home Googled it to see if it had been out that long and realized it was brand new this year. So that's why I decided to do this video. Also saw that on other websites, it retails for anywhere from 110 to $150. For this combo, that 150 mark, that's a little bit high, but 110, 120, I've seen that on a couple websites. That seems to be what the most common going price is actually thinking about it when i picked it up at meyer it did have a sales tag on it for that 99 dollars price mark but i went back the other day and they had the sales tag gone and they just had this mark for 99 dollars. so as far as i know if you guys live near a meyer or a walmart go check this out they'll probably have it for 99 dollars. but dick sporting goods i think it was fin feather and fur they're all about 110 120 so it's up to you where you guys decide to go and get it. But like I said, I suggest you guys pick one up. I love it. So let's wrap this intro up. Let's get to the video that you guys are about to see and you guys decide for yourself. Ugly stick carbon combo, 6.6 six medium action. Here we go. Got one. There we go. Well, that's the first one that we ever caught on this spinning combo here. This is the new Ugly Stick Carbon with the Black Max combo here. I put a probably about a four and a half, five foot leader on here. I love this combo so far. I, like I said, first fish I've ever caught on it, but no complaints whatsoever. No complaints. Oh, got right by the eye. Got him. There we go, guys. Woo! Sorry about your eye, bud. All right, bud, you're bleeding. I want to get you back in the water. I'm sorry, dude. Let's get you back in. He's all right. This is what they do, man. I love this wacky rig action. Sends the worm halfway up the line. And they golf it. All right, guys. Well, I can't complain so far. That's the first one we caught on this uh, combo here. We're going to turn this video into a little combo review since I didn't catch the fish that I wanted to today. So we're doing a little redemption here with a little uh, review. Sorry, it's not going to be the best review. I'm a little bit bummed I got skunked this morning. So 
but it's all right. We're not in Scott now. I don't know if you guys saw the first video I did the lose uh, rod review here of the Xfinity Caster. I was literally just walking the same worm along the bank like this. And I didn't notice until I got halfway down that I actually had a fish on my line. That's how small these bass are in here. There's a lot of bass in here though. No biggins as far as I know, but there's a lot. Let's go down here by these rocks. I know there's some rock bass in here too. There's not just largemouth. There's some bluegill, largemouth, and some rock bass I heard. I've never seen them. But we also have a drainage pipe over there that there might be some stuff chilling by. So let's go check that out. Got a fish? That's fish. Got a fish. Yeah. Oh! What are you on? I still got him. Woo! I got him good. There we go. There's two. <laughs> there we go. We're definitely making up for this morning, guys. We got two. Stop spinning, doing your spins. I'm getting them all on the side. There we go, guys. There's two. Woo! Step on the rod. There we go, guys. There's two. Another little baby guy. Let's hurry up and get him back in the water. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, guys, there's two. Let's get three. And they ever throw a bass tournament on this little pond, I'm gonna kill it. I always catch fish here. So that's number two on this rod, and I like it. Again, though, I had my drag way too loose. I thought I lost them when I had to set my drag up. Still getting used to the, to the reel. The reel's been out for about three years now, four years maybe. The rod, however, this is a brand new rod from Ugly Stick this year. Again, Ugly Stick Carbon. Brand new rod. Love it, guys. You guys are wondering what I'm rocking right now, too. I'm rocking some Strike King, some, I believe this is 40 pound braid because it's all they had left and they're really sold out. You guys will notice, too, that I like to use higher number of braid, higher, higher pounds of braid just because I get stuff stuck in trees a lot. And I'm a puller, so I rock a heavy pound braid with a lighter pound of fluoro. So this is 40 pound braid, strike king with 12 pound K9 fluoro. Is that a fish on? No, I thought I did. I had a fish on the whole time, dang it. It's no one. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. It's the second time that's happened at this pond, dude. Wasn't even paying attention and just one just came up and just took it. Oh no, you got me all tangled up. Oh, look at that, you cut off our circulation. <laughs> Alrighty guys. Three. <laughs> Another small one, but hey, we're gonna take them. We got skunk today. That guy over there got a couple of big bass this morning and some pumpkin seed. I didn't get anything, so I'll take these all day long for today. Let's get them back in the water so we can get some more. Alright bud, there he goes, go tell your friend what's up, oh, okay let's fix this again, they're killing this, this is a good, good choice, good choice, little gamakatsu yellow drop shot hook with a lunker hut worm, actually I had to having to chop that part off because of bass a couple of days ago actually ripped this in half, so I didn't think it was going to work, but it's working. Big one out there by the duck, by the geese. Big one out there. There's one. There's four. Dude, I'm just killing. I must be on a. I must be on a bed or something. Oh. These little dudes out here are some bleeders. All right, guys. There's four. Get this little bleeder back in the water. Think? Think? He took off real quick. A little toss, he's alright. You can go tell your friends there's some more food coming too. So far, it's been all the small guys so far. I mean, we obviously we haven't gotten anything of real, real strength. 
to uh, test the nature of this rod, but I can tell even with the bigger fish, guys, this rod's gonna handle really well. There is a fish right there, it's a small little blue. Oh, man. What's that? There's one. There's one. Oh, no. no, I got him. I got him. Oh, stay here. Oh, guys, I couldn't even reel him in. Oh my gosh, biggest one of the day, cause a knot. <laughs> With not a clean reel in by any means, but hey. They're the big ones out of here. <laughs> Probably as big as they're gonna get, but we'll take it. I was able to feel them nicely on this rod, so there we go. There's a bigger fish caught on this rod. I was able to feel them instantly. Nice hookup, nice fish. Sorry, buddy, that was not the ride of your life. I know, I'm so sorry. All right, we got five. Dude, he kind of choked that through that thing. It came, that was a little heavy fish. All right, buddy, you've been out of the water for a minute. I'm sorry. There you go. He went right into this bed right here. This is a full spawning bed, as you can, you know, all right here. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh, geez. The knot was like right here, and then it finally came out once I dropped my rod. I don't know what happened, dude. <laughs> that was funny. It's like my tension was too high. I don't I don't know if my tension was too high on him or what. I tried to let tension out and it didn't work. Oh, I almost had another one, dude. Yeah, they're right over here. He got the end of it. I shouldn't have set the hook. He probably would have taken it if I would have left it there. Oh, why did, where'd I go that way? Where was I going? Oh, the little bluegill almost had it. <laughs> little fish are aggressive well guys that was it thanks for checking out the video that was the ugly stick carbon 6x medium action spinning combo i love this rod i love this combo i suggest you guys go out and pick one up like i said the real abu garcia black max 5 1 to 1 gear ratio it's been out for about three to five years i got no complaints about it it's not an expensive reel by any means you can pick it up for probably 30 40 bucks but the rod, I want to say the rod probably would retail for about $50, $60 without the combo on there. That's actually a pretty good price for that for this rod if you break it down that way. So to me, $100 bucks for the combo is worth it. I suggest you guys go out and pick one up. Pull my sleeve down a little bit. Look at my farmer's tan. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm done messing around. I got to get ready and fish this tournament this weekend. I got to get the rest of my gear ready and get a couple more reels spooled up. So, uh... Yeah, guys, Augustic Carbon, 6'6", six, six, medium action. Guys, go out and pick one up. You guys are definitely going to be happy. 100 bucks. Check it out.